Hello again VR fans! Every so often on the PlayStation Store, a deal pops up that seems too good to pass up. A couple of years ago, Discovery, the Minecraft-like building game, was discounted to less than a dollar. Wow, I said. I'd be stupid to ignore that. But I still ended up feeling ripped off. There was very little game to speak of, and the VR implementation was terrible. Combine this with the fact that not particularly long after Minecraft VR was released on PSVR, and well... More recently, Intruder's Hide and Seek was discounted to only $2, and although this was a much better game, it was pretty old fashioned as VR games go, and ended up making me feel really VR sick, to the point where I couldn't even get through a couple of hours playtime to make a video about it. So now we come to this previous week on PlayStation Store, where I found that Cave Digger by VR Keyway was also discounted to under a dollar, and again, I couldn't help but pick it up. But was this a good decision, or should the price have been a huge red flag, especially after my previous bargain basement purchases? Well, let's jump in and find out. And don't forget to stick around until the end of this video to see if I really dug this game. Let's go for a run then. Let's go and mine some stuff. Ah. So you literally have to mine this stuff out. You have a certain amount of time to do it in before we move on to the next level. And we have to get as much money as we can, as quickly as we can. Nope. And now. First things first, I feel really sure. But maybe I'm a dwarf, I don't know. That's what they do, isn't it? They mine too deep. Um, how long have I got? Not long. Let's get what we can. Ah, that's cool. You can see where all the goodies are hidden. Hey! Oh, you see, I'm running out of time now, so I we'll have to grab our loot. Oh, that was close. Oh, look at all that gold. Um, yeah. Oh. Yes, gold. Gold, I tell ya. What the hell is that? Green? Uranium or something. Get in there. Um, oh no. There you go. Haha. <laughs> More gold. Um, nice. But the next level, we'll use some dynamite. Uh, oh no, we're running out of time. What's that? We're blowing up. Not by now. Okay. Is that oil? Oh. I mean, it might be. Put that there, and let's try. Dynamite! Uh. Don't know if that can hurt me. Whoa! Yeah, that was cool. Put that back in our inventory. So you can only dig so far, I mean, it's only the immediate area. Um, stop dropping it. We had full locomotion, but unfortunately snap turning. Just keep grabbing stuff. Oh, now we've run out of time. Is that more oil? Maybe. Oh no! 
I lost my scanner. Well, there you go. And here's our loot. We made loads of money that time. This is a new scanner, so we'll we'll take that and try not to lose the next one. Do some dynamite. Um, go there. Ah. Boom! Awesome. All kinds of good stuff down here. Weird bug that means I don't quite pick up the items. Do we have enough time to set off another explosion? Why not? Oh. That was disappointing. Oh well. Take what we can. Ah, what am I doing? Oh, I just ate a mushroom. Go me. Um. Wow. What the hell? Okay, weird space key. Um. Oh, come back! I have no idea what's happening. Maybe I'm tripping. Oh, crud! What the hell? Wow, it floats. Now that I like. I just sat there for a second. Uh, more oil over here. Oh. Oh man. Ah, oil. Um, where's my bucket? There it is. Oh, I've got oil in my eye. That sounds like a lot of money. Back of your bucket. Oh, hello. Aww. I have to smash that out of the way, aren't we? Might have to get stuck. Oh, yeah. Aha! Black gold! Gold, I tells ya! Back to the surface world. 
Cave Digger is a pretty fun game with a decent enough gameplay loop to keep you coming back for a short while. Digging up precious metals, gems and treasures in order to gain cash for upgrades to your mining equipment is a fun way to spend an hour or two here or there, and there are a bunch of secrets, hidden items and easter eggs to keep you busy for a little while. You can even play the game flat screen if that's your jam, and if you really enjoyed the game, there's a sequel that's supposedly just around the corner. This game has some issues though that really hamper the fun factor. There's no smooth turning, and even though there is full locomotion, you'll find that the majority of the time you'll find your character getting stuck on and sometimes in geometry, forcing you to teleport back into position anyway. Finally, I also had a weird bug where my hands disappeared two feet behind me, which required me to restart the game. But hey, I only paid a dollar, so I can't really complain. Thanks for watching, and if you're interested in more PSVR fun, then smash the like and subscribe buttons, like these certified VR fans, and hopefully, I'll catch you all in the next video. Bye!